Welcome to another episode of Nathan Builds Robots. Today we're here with Patrick from Glassomer. They're doing some really interesting stuff with resin 3D printing and glass. So Patrick, can you tell me a little bit more about your company? Yeah, sure. So we are a startup from Germany. Uh, we developed a process to print uh, glass in 3D. So yeah, if you want, I can give you more details on the technical point of view. Or... Oh yeah, we love the technical details That's here. That's great. So we developed a resin, which is half glass powder, half polymer, and then you can print it on standard resin printers. And after the print, the piece needs to be put in an oven. And that is then done at 1,300 degrees Celsius. And then you transform the piece into a full dense glass. So at the end, you have a real glass. But the nice thing, the printing is done in a standard resin printer. So you don't, don't need any high temperature melting printer. So it's very easy to do. So you're just getting like a, a regular, like almost like a desktop resin printer or probably more professional stuff for, yeah, for exactly. the, what you're so doing? Yeah, exactly. So we can use, we started with, let's say, cheap LCD printers. It worked nicely. But now we, we choose some DLP printing systems because they last longer. We print 24 hours a day. So we are now a DLP systems, but we don't have one preferred system. We use different styles. Depending on resolution, uh, we choose different printers. So you've got this fancy new resin that can do all these different things with glass. Um, what are some of the applications that you do uh, with your glass 3D printed parts? So one is jewelry. So that was unexpected for us, but you can print like real gemstones out of, of glass. Uh, wow. You can print perfume bottles, crazy designs that you cannot do in standard glass making anymore. But we have also technical applications like um, optical pieces. So it's a glass, it's transparent. Uh, we can use chemical reactors can be printed. So this is more for universities, academia, that want to synthesize pharmaceuticals. So it's a very pure glass, so it has applications in different uh, markets. So when you're done curing these parts, there's no plastic left over? It's just like a pure glass? Exactly, yeah. And how thick can you make these parts before, you know, if you can't make like a giant solid cube out of it probably? Exactly, we are limited to one centimeter in thickness. So that's the wall thickness. If you would exceed that, you risk cracks on the inside of the glass. Um, but we have no um, dimensional limitations on the full size of the, of the body. The, f the only limitation is the printer platform. So tell me a little bit about your product lines and your services that you offer. So today we offer a prototyping service. So you send us a 3D file. Two weeks later you get uh, the glass piece back. So that's one service we provide. Another service is that we sell the glass resin so you can print on your own. But you need this oven to do that. But there are plenty of oven systems, they have the size of a printer, so it does not take more space than a standard printer. So you print, you put it in the oven, then you have your glass piece. Now it's not so crazy big, so it's really, um, it's like a desktop printer, but a desktop furnace. So okay. it's like uh, what dentists are using for, for the teeth. So you just open um, a platform, you put your piece in, it closes, and then it's 10 hours, then it does the sintering opens again you take the piece out so it's very easy to do it's not this high temperature melt that you go like for the glass blowers it's nothing crazy so it's really easy to use um, okay. so you can do it at home right. if you have to open it what's some of your favorite applications for this technology like a project that you worked on you're like wow this is really awesome yeah so microfluidics it's great you need to be more like a tech guy to, f to find it great but this is something that enables the synthesis of pharmaceuticals stuff like this also biomedical applications. We were producing lenses for endoscopes, for example. This is very exciting because we produce new products with new features for an industry. Um, but other nice things we have done are like crazy shaped perfume bottles um, where designers have no limit and then we get a request, can you print that? And then this is super exciting for us to then to print a new design and to see the outcome of it. And it really probably helps you push the boundaries of what's possible on your, on your processes and machines. Yes, yes. Customer help us to understand what we can do and what we maybe cannot do anymore. So this is very helpful. Yeah. I really enjoy the uh, blend of art and engineering that you have going on at your company. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. So uh, yeah, Thanks to you. All right. If anyone wants to pick up some of your resins, is there a, a way that they can find some on your website? Or how yes, does that sure. work? So they can go to glasomer.com and then send us a request for the resin, send us a request to get some samples or to let us print the glass piece for them.